Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. Now, a lot of people ask for a series of Nuclear Throne, and I am playing the bejesus out of it in my off time, so I figured why don't we merge those two interests together, and I will create a little mini-series here. And I say mini-series because it's still in Steam Early Access, the game is not totally complete with respect to its content so far, but I do want to go through, and uh, I think the way that I'm going to structure this series is, you can see that there are eight characters in the game. I'm going to do one episode as each character, and we'll, you know, talk a little bit about their mechanics, talk about how, whether I like them or dislike them, and we will try to become you know the person who sits on the nuclear throne so episode one we're just gonna be going left to right here uh, we're gonna play as fish in this episode he's kind of like the the Mario character he's the principal character at least using all the marketing mostly because he jams out on the sweet music and he is cute as a button so his uh, passive abilities he gets more ammunition which is very very useful of course and uh, his active ability is a dodge roll which to be quite honest with you I haven't really managed to use effectively at all so if you're not familiar with what Wasteland Kings is or sorry uh, nuclear throne is I'll probably get that wrong uh, many, many times. For people who aren't aware, um, this game used to be called Wasteland Kings, and then there was kind of a, an amicable trademark dispute with the people making the new Wasteland game, uh, and they decided to change the name, but it wasn't like under threat of legal recourse or anything like that. It was more just like, hey, your game sounds like our game, neither of them are out, maybe we can work something out. But anyway, um, if you're not familiar with what's going on with uh, Nuclear Throne, basically it is, oh god, a dodge roll by accident there. I'll try to do that to demonstrate how this works, but um, it is a, uh, a twin stick shooter with roguelike elements. I am almost out of ammo here, which is scaring the shit out of me. Okay, machine gun, unfortunately. I'll take it, but it uses the same kind of bullets as a revolver, so I only have 78 bullets, and then I got a bunch of shells, which is not particularly useful. Um, but basically, you know, you can think of it kind of like a twin-stick shooter-style version of The Binding of Isaac, but it has RPG elements, so we actually level up as we collect those uranium bars. Uh, and every time we level up, we get to pick a perk. So Last Wish is kind of our, we're about to die, we can use this to get back to full health. But we will kind of handicap ourselves because we won't get any awesome upgrade here. We can also get Scarier Face, which is minus enemy HP. Some missed bullets become ammo is the recycled gut perk. Or Plutoni Plutonium Hunger, which gives us some attract power, so we attract consumables to us. I'm going to go with Scarier Face. Typically, that has been one of the uh, better upgrades for me so far. So I've spent a, uh, a reasonable amount of time playing as... Oh, as fish in the game and originally he was like the character that I liked the most and I think it was because you know he's he's fairly basic and his uh, active effect is a, one of the more obvious active effects in the game and one of the more like readily usable ones like you know when to use a dodge roll when you're in danger you dodge roll out of the way and there's your your problem solved right so I can just dodge roll like this as you can see however I should point out that if you watch the let's look at I need to get this experience before it disappears if you watch the let's look at of um, nuclear throne that I did I oh, that was bad damage for me. No, I missed taking the screwdriver because I'm an idiot and just got sucked down to the next level. But, uh, I mentioned that the dodge roll actually makes you invincible to... Oh, this is such a problem. I'm like nearly out of... Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that's actually a good thing. We're probably going to die many times over the course of each one of these episodes. But again, we're going to stick to one character per episode. So if you don't like this character, well, never fear. Tomorrow we'll be back with a new one. But, um... I, I say that you were immune to attacks when you were dodge rolling. This is actually not true. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but it, oh Jesus. If you dodge roll uh, into a bullet, you will still get hit by that bullet. So, one of the problems of playing the game the way I'm playing and just kind of being a total coward and shooting enemies when they're very far off screen, this is level fucking one here, uh, is that uh, if you kill an enemy, they drop uh, those uranium bars. I called them tickets in the... Uh, in the video, but uranium bars, and that's experience that helps us level up, but if we don't pick those up within uh, a few seconds, they disappear, so I can't actually just be a total coward. Oh no, there's so much stuff here for me to still get, okay. Um, so what do I have here? I have a sledgehammer and I have a revolver. This is not the best assortment of weapons, uh, I don't want the assault rifle though. And I think on this one I'll take uh, bloodlust. Bloodlust gives us uh, some lifesteal. Eagle eyes gives us increased ammo. Or sorry, increased uh, accuracy. You've got the wrong A word there. Uh, I am an A word sometimes, I guess. And uh, laser brain gives us more damage for energy weapons, which we do not have. So I do want to show off something that I learned with the sledgehammer. I'm not sure... Oh, Jesus, we started like right next to an enemy. Uh, I'm not sure if this applies to the uh, screwdriver, but with the sledgehammer... Oh, there you go. I, that was kind of... I was looking to build a moment, but you can actually uh, totally like Ganondorf those projectiles back at the enemies. And this can be really useful when you fight the boss on this floor. Uh, and it also gives you some kind of way to attack enemies uh, from afar, even if you only have a melee weapon, which does happen from time to time, depending on how you manage your ammunition. Okay, I cannot not go with the disc gun. I'm not going to use it right now. We'll wait until maybe the boss shows up. But the disc gun, obviously, uh, a Vlambert classic. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct correctly now. 
Um, basically, we, we shoot out a giant disc, and we'll see if there's enemies up here. And it can actually ricochet and kill us, so we have to be very careful about that. But otherwise, it does a ton of damage. It also just has a, a little bit of risk associated with it as well. I like the disc gun a lot. It might be my favorite weapon in the game. Uh, ammunition? I'm not sure what ammunition it actually uses, so... I hate getting rid of the sledgehammer, because it's so nice to have a melee weapon. That was really scary. Uh, it's so nice to have a melee weapon just in case you do run out of ammo, which happens uh, fairly frequently... But, oh, there's our boss for this floor, okay. Um, but, uh, that being said, the disc gun is probably better, and I took it pretty much explicitly because, of course, we're going to come across a boss here. I've never really used the shovel, uh, I've only really used the sledgehammer and the screwdriver when it comes to melee weapons, so. Now we use the disc gun on this boss, and it should do a lot of damage. You may be noticing I'm not really using the dive roll at all. This is probably why I don't like Fish as much as I used to like him. He used to be, as, as mentioned, one of my favorite characters in the game. Uh, now I find him a little bit more uh, kind of boring, and there's a lot of characters that I prefer. I much prefer... Oh, we killed the boss, though. That's pretty good. Uh, I much prefer using uh, Crystal, who has the shield. If you watch my Let's Look At, you'll be familiar with who that is. And uh, also, if I'm going to go like Judas style from The Binding of Isaac, uh, Melting is really interesting. Melting gives you uh, the ability to explode corpses, and then that creates more corpses, which you can then explode as well. So... Uh, Extra item drops, enemies touching you take damage, I guess this is like poison touch. Uh, euphoria, slower enemy bullets, that's really useful, or plus speed. I'm gonna take uh, plus speed, and the reason I'm doing that rather than taking the uh, um, slower enemy bullets is because a lot of the enemies on this like second part of the game actually don't really... Oh good, that, those were tickets, I thought those were enemies. A lot of enemies on the second part of the game uh, just run at you, so it's not so much bullets, like especially these rats. But this is only one level, like the sewer is just a... Kind of like a transitory level. Uh, I bet I can hit him with a disc gun if I just ricochet it back here. There we go. Uh, and we might level up again. You definitely want to do your best to level up on every single floor. Uh, otherwise, you just... Because you can't level up twice on a floor. At least not that I've seen so far. And I really like the music for this part of the game. Let's see if we can get enough experience to level up. Maybe, maybe not. I did leave the shovel back there, you might have noticed. I think that was a smart idea, though, because I, I, I like the items we have right now. I like taking the revolver, because bullets seem to be one of the more common item drops. Uh, oh, don't accidentally kill yourself with that. Um, and, you know, as mentioned, every weapon class has its own type of ammunition, so... Uh, it's nice to have a... This is a grenade launcher, which is also... Oh! Ah, uh, this is dumb damage, which is also very good. Uh, but... The uh, revolver, it's its decent, it does okay damage, and uh, ammo for it shows up all the time. I'm dead. God damn it. I was doing so well, then I got kind of distracted and fucked it up. That's how quickly things can go wrong in, in uh, Nuclear Throne. Almost said Wasteland Kings again, you almost got me. Alright. So let's see if we can maybe do a little bit better here. I, I was going to talk about uh, how much content is in the game right now. I believe, as of right now, there's only two bosses. So the way that it works is like, you, you know, you get through the desert area here, as I'm going to colloquially call it. And, um, actually, why don't we call this the Wasteland? If I'm gonna be the one coining the names, I want it to have a little bit more style than that. So you're in the Wasteland, plus 18 explosives doesn't do too much for us here. And we are on low bullets, which scares the shit out of me. Hopefully we manage to pick up some, uh, ammunition soon. Uh, and when you encounter the Big Bandit, that's the end of the Wasteland. Please be a melee weapon, maybe. Ah, we got some extra bullets anyway. 60 bullets is pretty good. We didn't level up on this floor, though, which sucks. Uh, so you fight the big bandit, you kill him, and then you move on to like the sewer level, and there's no boss on the sewer level. This weapon, by the way, is, uh, it uses bullets, and it has a three-round burst. So you do shoot, you know, three times as much ammo as you do with the revolver, but it also, um, means that if you have your mouse over an enemy and you click, most enemies will die in one burst. So there's a trade-off here. Slugger is a really good weapon. It's, uh, a kind of shotgun variant. And shotguns are extraordinarily powerful in the game. Probably the best runs that I've ever had in the game have been with the uh, the shotgun. So we will go back and pick up that slugger for sure. Definitely want to get this uh, cache of experience here, and we are going to level up, and we'll move on. But okay, so I totally have not, I've neglected to mention, you go down to the sewer, once you're on the sewer, um, you kind of pop out in like a techno wasteland, and then there is actually a boss on the techno wasteland, which I have not seen uh, ever, because I always die before I get to that point. But I believe that is the end of the content of the game. So there's still some levels missing. I am totally going to take... Uh, Scare your face here for minus enemy HP, although shells bouncing further with shotgun fingers is very useful as well. I don't want to take it just because I'm not necessarily sure um, whether I'm going to stick with this slugger 
uh, for a long period of time. That's the thing, right? Like, you want to specialize because you get probably uh, proportionally better benefits when you specialize. Like, increased damage uh, is an awesome benefit, as you know, for anyone who's played, like, any roguelike ever. Um, okay, well, actually, now that we have the uh, big bandit here, I'm... Oh, that did three damage. I'm extremely tempted to use... Um, the uh, grenade launcher, but actually we destroyed him with the slugger really, really quickly. He's very easy to kill, he's just um, more kind of offensively scary than defensively scary, if that makes sense. What I mean by that is that, um, you know, he, he's he's got low HP, but he does a lot of damage. As you can see, you know, each shot does three damage to you, which is usually uh, about a third of your total HP. A little scary. If you're playing as Melting, that would just kill you instantly. Uh, so we did level up again, which is good. We're gonna hope for some more HP, but our upgrade, maybe I can get Bloodlust or something. Um, thrown Butt upgrades our special ability. I don't know what that actually does for fish, so that might be an interesting choice, but I actually am gonna go with slower enemy bullets here, just because I think it's better. And, when you go down to the sewer, in my very limited experience so far, Shotgun is, uh, by far the best weapon to have, because you're in, like, these tight corridors, and enemies, almost without fail, rush at you. Because the, the, the way that the rats work is that they actually... Uh, like, that's the way that they attack. They just run at you, and then they do two damage if they touch you. So all you have to do is, like, keep your shotgun uh, out in front of you, and you will be able to take out almost every enemy that you come across here. I'm not going to take the SMG. Uh, plus 30 bolts would be really good if we start using a crossbow. Another really awesome weapon in the game is the... Ooh, that was close. Is the uh, auto crossbow. And we may or may not come across that. It seems like one of the rarer weapons. I do believe that there's rarity associated with the weapons. Uh, the disc gun, for example, that's only the second time I've seen it in like two or three hours of uh, nuclear throne play. So you were very lucky very briefly that I was able to have a chance to use that. Um, let's may oh, make it through here. And we may be... Oh, we're not even close to being able to level up on this floor. There are some characters that have uh, extra experience gain just as their passive ability, and that is exceptionally useful. So this is a, a very scary floor, as you can tell. We're gonna make our way through here, and I'm gonna keep my shotgun. Oh god, there's... Okay, the problem is, I wanna talk about all these enemies, but every single one of them has their own fucking unique problems that scare the shit out of me. So, we've seen those bandits many times before. The harpies can fly, uh, and other. apart from that, they also shoot like three bullets at the same time, but that's not too bad. Uh, there are also turrets, and these turrets shoot uh, angry flames at us, as you can see right there. This will do a ton of damage to us in some situations. Uh, and then there's also the dudes you really have to watch out for are the guys who are wielding some kind of, like, uh, melee weapon. And if you get hit by them, it usually does, like, a crazy amount of damage. Uh, sometimes... Oh, okay, that was really scary. They got, like, snipers with the spread gun from Contra. I think I might actually be able to get through this level, weirdly enough, but it is going to seemingly cost me all of my shotgun bullets. But at least I have max bullets for the assault rifle. What do we have here? Oh, another 20 shells. That's really useful. And, you know, probably going to end up fighting the uh, boss, which is going to be great because I've never actually fought the boss before, so I'll probably lose instantly. Um... I think in this case, I don't like any of these upgrades, really. I'm going to take Eagle Eyes for increased accuracy, and maybe we'll run into um, Big Dog on this floor. He is the, the boss. Uh, and are there any enemies that I have not talked about? Okay, you can see all those dudes with the sticks there. They are the scariest enemies in the goddamn game, because I'm pretty sure they are more or less a one-hit KO. I think it depends on your, uh, your health, and seven health might be enough to absorb uh, a shot from them. Uh, okay, I'm fine. But it also might not be. Every time I think I've been hit by them, uh, I've been killed instantly. But usually by this point in the game, I am low on health anyway. This is probably, um... Oh, almost walked into him there. This is maybe the best run I've ever had of Nuclear Throne. Largely due to A, getting an early shotgun, and B, uh, managing to keep it fairly well stocked in shells, despite using it primarily. Normally, what I do is I, I keep the revolver, and I play it almost like Mega Man style, where I, I use the Mega Buster for everything, except uh, when I'm fighting bosses. Uh, so when I'm fighting like very difficult enemies, or very difficult, difficult passages in the game, then I use other weapons. But because we've had so many shotgun shells show up here, I've been completely able to uh, just rely on that the whole time. So I'm going to make my way through here. And, uh, you know, we gotta watch out for these spread gun snipers here, which is a great colloquial name. I think I almost got burned, and that would have been really terrible. Because I, I don't think there's, like, a very long period of invincibility. So if you stand in that fire, it, it could do, like, three or four damage per second. So you've really gotta realize if you've made a terrible mistake as quickly as possible. Here we have the crossbow. I'm gonna stick with what I've got, just because it's worked out very well for us so far. And, wow, we uh, totally qualify to go down to the next level. I realize fish can roll game, but, uh... 
That's not the way I play when I play as fish. Mostly because when I use the dodge roll, I tend to get myself hit. So this is very much, it's almost like a, a super vanilla style run uh, with this character. So we know that there's uh, shotgun snipers out here. Oh, Jesus. Um, I don't think that it could possibly be a good idea for me to trap myself in this corner. I also just took four damage like instantly there. Uh, or Sorry, I, I only took three damage, which is actually a little bit more reassuring because it means I'm probably more than one hit away from death. Oh, these bullets, he shoots like explosive bullet bills or something. I'm mostly just doing crowd control in here. Like, I'm trying to scum the game up a little bit so that, uh... How am I gonna do this? <laughs> like, I'm looking at this right now and I'm like, this guy is like demolishing the entire level. By the way, there are the, the walls are demolishable and you can see that there are like med packs in between the, the walls sometimes. So, it's very much a, a bullet hell game. Oh god, I got hit. Ah, okay, I'm dead. That's acceptable. Uh, that was the best I've ever done, though, and I think that was going reasonably well. Why don't we try one more, and we'll see if maybe I can get some, uh, different items this time. So this will be our last run as fish, whether it goes amazingly or terribly. That was a really good one, though. So for those of you wondering, Northern Lion, would you recommend, uh, Nuclear Throne? Absolutely! Uh, it's available on Steam Early Access. One thing I do want to clarify, and this is always, like, a hot-button issue for people, and I understand why. Uh, but it's 13 bucks on Steam Early Access right now. When the game actually comes out, it is going to be slightly cheaper, according to the description on the store page on Steam. I had erroneously stated, uh, that it actually had a sale for Early Access, which, you know, it's- Forgive me! No! The experience! Come to me! I got a little bit of it. But I missed so much on that floor. You do have to, like, weirdly manage, like, when you kill the last enemy. You want to get all the items first. Uh, but anyway, uh, y you forgive me because, you know, with all the different release and distribution and monetization models these days, it's kind of hard to keep track sometimes. Some games uh, offer a discount for early access. Some games offer a premium price for early access. Uh, and, you know, oftentimes consumers feel uh, alienated by one or the other. Typically this one, I guess. But I still think Wasteland Kings, in its current state, is substantially more polished than anything, or not anything, but substantially more polished than the norm. Uh, oh man, I took a lot of damage there. Uh, for Steam Early Access, and I would totally recommend it. I think it's, uh, it's fantastic and it's already uh, remarkably playable. That was probably the one good use of a dodge roll I've ever had. We're gonna take Bloodlust mostly because we need HP by this point. And it is one of those, uh, you know, roguelike-ish games where you can feel like a very quick sense of improvement, and that's not to say that the game's easy, I've never made it through the entire, um, you know, beta or alpha or whatever we're, we're playing here. I'm not good with my Greek letters. Uh, but, what is this? Machine gun. Yeah, sure, we'll take machine gun instead of the assault rifle, because it does let us choose how much we shoot. I actually kind of prefer the assault rifle, but I thought maybe we'll mix it up, because we used the assault rifle uh, a little bit last time. Um, what is this gun over here? Assault rifle. Okay, we're gonna go with that. We've already seen the machine gun. Oh, no. And Big Bad will probably be able to, or Big Bandit will probably be able to die here. If I manage to not get hit one more time, I would be a very happy man. Should probably dodge roll out of the way when he starts his attacks, but what can I say? I am not a clever man. This might be one of the few times we would want to take, like, um, Last Wish. Some kills regenerate ammo, plus, uh, plus speed I think is the best. Uh, but yeah, Nuclear Throne, there will be a link in the uh, video description below to pick us up on Steam. It's 13 bucks. You're either going to be okay with that or you're not, but uh, when it comes out on Steam, if I had to guess, slightly cheaper probably means that it'll be 10 bucks when it comes out. So, you know, you can wait for maybe a couple months and you can pick up the game for $3 cheaper. If your time is worth that, uh, then far be it for me to tell you what to do, is all I can say. But for those of you who are willing to invest the $13 right now, uh, it is uh, already an excellent experience and you'll have a leg up on the people who, uh, you know, eventually will come into this game. And I do think this is the kind of game um, that, that could develop kind of a... Oh, I'm down to low health. Why do I have... I'm level 3. Did I pick up Bloodlust at some point? Or I must have picked up a med pack in the walls or something. Uh, but I do think this is one of those kind of roguelike games that's... Or roguelite games, because I know people get very anal about the uh, categorization there. Which is nuts, but anyway, I digress. Um, I think it's one of those games that could develop kind of a, uh, a community around it. Oh, I've never seen a chest like this before. Okay, what do we have? Slugger, great weapon. SMG... Oh, why don't we take that instead of our... Um, Assault Rifle. Slugger is such a good weapon that it basically let us live last time. So I guess though that was a chest that uh, let us uh, get a variety of weapons in here. We have a revolver, machine gun, assault rifle. Okay, so I'm, I'm content to take SMG just because I've never really used it before. I totally do have Bloodlust, by the way. Didn't really realize it and we'll take this guy out and that should be the end of this floor. And we're so close to leveling up, which is frustrating because you, you only get to get the perk once you actually go down to the next level. Uh, so I will not be able to... Uh, get the value out of being 99% of the way to the level here. 
SMG appears to be extremely weak, but with a quick rate of fire, I would not be surprised if I end up dying very, very shortly here. But at least I made it to the boss over the course of... Oh, it's also got recoil here. Um, which is actually... It, it's something that makes it much more difficult to shoot, but it's also much more fun to use as a weapon when it's a little bit more erratic like that. I like it. Uh, I actually, I like it from a gameplay standpoint, but I do not like it from a strategic standpoint. I would much prefer to have the assault rifle uh, for myself personally. But let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm dead. I kind of put myself in that fuck corridor. But in any case, uh, this is Nuclear Throne. I'll be back uh, next episode. We'll be playing as Crystal, who is actually one of my favorite characters in the game. Uh, she has a crystal shield, which makes it it makes her impervious to weapons. And also, she gets more HP. So she's like a tank-type character, which is good for me because I'm bad at the game right now. Uh, check out the link in the video description below to pick up Nuclear Throne on Steam. I like it a lot, and I'm going to be playing it for at least uh, seven more episodes over the course of this mini-series. As always, since this is the start of the new series, I would, uh, you know encourage you if you enjoyed the video to click the like button because it does help me out a lot and uh you know spread my virulence throughout youtube as always thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode of course uh leave a comment letting me know what you liked or not like about it and subscribe to see more nuclear throne as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time